So we're just, rolling on the. We are rolling on the pod. So, uh, welcome. Thank so, you very much for joining us. If you're here, we don't have to do the clap thing. Don't no worry clap. about it. We don't want to clap. Twitter okay. just likes to clap a lot. I don't know yeah, why. Just clap. <laughs> I haven't quite just figured clap. that out yet. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we have a special guest, as you can see. Yep, uh, yep. This man is originally from LA. Yep, yep, right? Yep. Uh, he has moved, and now he's in Lynn, where he's like made it into our world and gotten to our radar. Yeah. yeah. Um, Krita put me on to him maybe like a couple of weeks ago, and. Since then, I've just been listening to the album "Sunrises on the West." Ah, right? appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Dope, dope. Oh man, we, so there's a few tracks that I want to get into, but uh, we'll save it after the intro. But uh, man, amazing album overall. Oh wow, great Thank body you. of work. This is your first, right? Yeah, it's my first. That was my first album. I was on a I was on a group album, but that was like a long time ago. You but, still rep that group? Nah, we kind of dismantled a little bit, but I still fuck with like. Oh, can I cuss? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I still fuck with a lot of them though. Like we're we're a group, but not a group anymore. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, and um, yeah, we we just call each other One Set Mafia, and then we changed to Set Life, and it was like, all right, this is not working. And then and then that's when I moved out here and then trying to figure everything. Word. Out. Well, yeah. we want to definitely know more about that. So yeah, I don't know yeah. if I said it yet, but yeah. this is Wes Taylor. <laughs> yeah, what he's up, got an album out, out. Came out I think in February. Was it February? Uh, May. May, May of May. this year, yes. Sunrise on the West. Definitely check that out. Um, I'm Edwin, Chris, or Crito, yeah. whichever. And this is yeah. episode ten of the Groundhouse Podcast. Yeah, we made Ooh. it to ten. We haven't yeah. gotten canceled yet. So no, not yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the support's been out there. Thank you guys for supporting us. Um, as you yeah. can see, we have a wonderful Groundhouse hat on the table yeah. for you guys to check you out. I need that. that. I need oh, that. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, that. we gotta hook you up with one for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Sure. So um, check that out in the uh, in the merchandise store. What's the link for that? Uh, we have a description in the cool. In check the, the description. A, a, yeah, a Big link cartel. In the description, yeah, 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 yeah. Check the so, bottom of the screen. Yeah. Um, but without further ado, man, Wes, thank you, yeah. thank you for coming. I We're excited to have you, you guys, man. This is love, man. Yeah. Love. Word. I'm excited. Yeah, man. So so just jumping into the conversation we we're just talking about real quick. Right. Um, with your group, is that did you? Is that how you started rapping? You had this little click. Um. Well, really, I was like. I was doing my thing in LA. I was in all type of things, trying to make money, trying to like, try to figure everything out. And um, like, I, I started rapping when I was a kid. I'll say like 10, 11 years old. I was trying to get into poetry. Stopped that, life happened. Mm. And I started trying to do rapping like 17, 18, life happened. And I was just like, man, fuck rap. I ain't trying to do all that. I'm trying to get money. And um, man, shout out to uh, Dutch. K- it was two times I quit music. It was okay. So yeah, so shout out to uh, Dutch Casey. That's the homie from LA. He's actually from Jersey, Word. but he moved to LA. Shout out to Dutch. And um, him, this dude named A Train, a Hispanic rapper, dope too. Um, they both came um to my apartment one time, and they was like, "Yo, you know, you've been through a lot of stuff. Why don't you just put that in stories? You know." And that's how I got into rap. They took yeah. me to the studio name, um, this dude named Doc Holiday, and then um, I took my cousin with me. Um, Magdello, he's a rapper now too. He's dope too. Word. Yeah, and, um, and that's how I started. I went to the studio and I got inspired. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get into this music thing. Cause he, um, Doc Holiday was wasn't charging me for no studio time, and we just connect, we just clicked. And he was like, just come whenever you want to make music. And and then that's how the group. It was like t- it was like 15 though. It was like Wu Tang or something. Yeah, like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like that's 15. cool. And then you know, it just down the line, then it became like just eight of us. Yeah, you know. And um and that's how yeah that's how I really started doing music man and uh, from there, um, from there I just kept going and sh- and keep trying to get better and better and better and better. What's the what's the culture like? I'm trying to figure out you know the differences and similarities between the culture in and Lynn and Boston in terms of hip hop. Yeah. And what's happening out in LA? What was it? Was it easy for you to sort of like? It seems like it was like kind of a no brainer to sort of like the the people well, that you found. Well, in. yeah. Well, me, I'm a big fan of hip hop. Mm-hmm. Like I love. I love all types of rap. Like when I was growing up, I was in. I used to like, I used to like Nas, um, Wu Tang. Of course, I'm a big fan of Wu Tang. Um, and when it comes to the South, I was a big fan of Ti. So I, I used to like all different type of raps. So with me, I was open to any type of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when it comes to LA, we're we're more of, to be honest, gang related. You know what I'm saying? We're more gang affiliation. So we, so like my favorite rapper is YG too. I love YG. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, Nipsey. Um, so like when it comes to that type of sound, 
compared to y'all sound is totally different. Yeah. Because y'all really lyrically, y'all more lyrical. Yeah. Y'all, and y'all and the rhyme scheme you guys have. So that that was that's kind of like the difference. Mm-hmm. Our ours is more smooth. You know, we like yeah. you know like you know like we like to dance two step. Yeah, yeah. You guys were more like you know forties and and then like. Uh, and how can I how can I explain it? How New York rap and this Massachusetts rap as well. I I, I think the best way to explain it is just lyrical, bro. Like yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. lyrical. Well, yeah. I think it, it, with both uh, the, the pacing is definitely oh yeah, different. the pacing is yeah. yeah it is different. And for me, when it comes to West Coast uh, like hip hop, the one thing that always sticks out to me is kind of like the same thing how I feel about Atlanta and, and some of the Southern rappers is up tempo. It's it's yes up tempo, yeah. and then like you guys have that like. Um, just that the, the voice, well, oh, no, just like, just the way of, of speaking is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. And for me, because I'm not from either places, yeah. I feel like and maybe that's why it's, it's so, uh, like in terms of like how like West coast rap, like mm. kind of sort of translates yeah. and sort of permeates all communities like across America. Yeah. Same thing with Atlanta rap and Atlanta, obviously hip hop is huge out there right, now crazy. and they're making all sorts of turning on music like crazy. Yeah. I think it's just like the, the sound of the voice is so authentic and it's just so like, like you said, like the laid back flow, like that, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that sound is, we don't get that here, you know? So yeah. when I hear somebody, especially when I heard you, yeah. I was like, oh man, this is crazy that he's here. Cause this is like not what I'm used to hearing when I'm yeah. like, oh, listen, listen to this rapper. He just yeah. talked to him the other day, at, you know, so-and-so I was like, all right, well I'm expecting Yeah, when you're like, like, like when we were talking, you were like, oh, I'm like from well, like LA and I'm like, yeah. oh, like that. All right, cool. And then I was like, let me check out his music. Cause yeah, I'm always like yeah, kind of yeah. curious because like you relocated here, so I'm yeah. like, all right, is he gonna sound like a LA rapper? Or is he gonna sound like someone from like the East Coast? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, I was what do you think? Is, um, a lot of people who say I don't, I don't have the um, typical sound from LA. And I would say I do, certain, like my flow is a little bit different. Yeah. Who, people honest. from LA told you that. People from elsewhere. Everywhere. Everywhere I go. Really? Yeah. They say like my flow is very un- un- unorthodox. I was gonna say. Well, I was gonna say yeah. yes. I'm that's, in and out, I'm in and out of pocket. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's yeah. definitely yep. true. Yeah. But that yeah. doesn't mean it's not. I feel like it, it's true, but I don't think it means that you're not. You don't sound like LA. I think yeah, you do like. have an LA vibe to you, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It, for me, it's like it's obvious. It's like yeah. I get like if I heard, I was like, I know where this guy's from. Like, you just <laughs> yeah. have that, yeah. It's, and you can't teach it because you were born in it. Like this yeah, is like, yeah, the, like yeah. the way of talking, like the way of being, like the it's yeah. all authentic. But you're right, like like the your cadence and like the way you rap is authentic. But then yeah. like there's rappers from LA who have like crazy like like E40 is the one that I'm I think. I'm surprised you even that. mentioned that. A lot of people <laughs> don't even know about E40. I'd be like, bro, how you know about E40? Too? Yeah, well, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but like there's so like yeah, I guess the cadence is authentic. It's original. Yeah. It's good. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you're, you're not like that's good that people aren't comparing you to other people because it's like you are original. What you like say? I, and I say hate it. the comparison because somebody said Blueface, and I know no disrespect oh. to Blueface, and I was like. Don't yeah, come on. I got more, and more, <laughs> I have more bars than Blueface. Yeah, yeah I'm like, hold on, you know, like ah, nah, nah. Yeah, my music is a little bit different than Blueface. Yeah, I think yeah. the only thing you can compare the two is just like, just the like the cadence is different. Yeah, you know? yeah. that's all. But it's, yeah, you know, I wouldn't consider you to be a Blueface type rapper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got more, I got more content. I got more things to say. No, no offense to Blueface. At yeah, all. he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. So talk to me about the album, The Sunrise in the West, man. The, okay, oh, so. Yeah clean production holy shit like oh, this bangs too. in the car like it's yeah. like it's on the radio like you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's like so talk to me about the production of it like who'd you hook up with and then um, the features on it damn this dude named Kyrie. he um he from seattle and he moved to la because that took me a year and some change to uh finish at first i was on at first i wasn't even, i didn't know what to call it i just knew i wanted to drop an album um and um who, who else i hooked up um, the homie live from Houston. Uh, my homie Shaq. Oh my God, Shaq's production. He he produced Worst Way, mm. and that was like the vibe on that was like I wish I was there in the studio. The vibe was that was beautiful. And if I, I rap fast, and I hope nobody hope I hope nobody asked me to uh, perform that because I don't know if I can perform. That. <laughs> <laughs> too fast, too yeah. many words. Yeah, I did that one take. And I'll oh like, really? Yeah. yeah all right. Right. Yeah. And, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I hooked up with um, mainly the producers is Kyrie. And Shaq, and um, and the features is live. Damn, what? Oh my God, why, who am I forgetting? 
Oh, my homie Dutch Casey, he's on Angry. Yeah, and then, yeah. And yeah. yeah, yeah, he's on Angry. Oh, and that's then, a good song. And We're then gonna get me, into that and then too, Mila, yeah. and then um, this dude actually. When, when I came out here, I finished, I finished the mixing and mastering actually out here. Um, uh, this dude named um, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain for it. Um, Marco, Marco. He's from out here. He's from Lynn. Oh no shit! Word. Yeah, he okay. Has a studio in Chelsea. That's cool. So you got a little if, bit of a if, you know. If I if I that. if I forgot your name, bro, you know who I, you know who I'm talking about. He <laughs> actually sang on "You Special." Cool. Yeah, he did the song "You Special." He sang on that. But yeah, man, um, that took me yeah, it took me like a year to change to um, to make and create and and get different sounds that I want. You know, and um, what were your what was like the mindset when you were creating this like this album? To, to the introduction of me, "Sun Rises on the West." It's kind of like. How can I explain this? It's like, it, it, it obviously is like on the west side, but you know when, when, sun is a is a, is a play on word as a, as a as a kid. Yeah. Sun, you know, and I'm and I'm rising. It's like I'm growing up. Yeah. So this is me and my adolescence years trying to figure out life. And when I'm trying to say like on my first track is worst way, like I want this on in, you know in the worst way, you know. So I'm I'm. I'm willing to do anything and, and you know and, and to get these opportunities, and then when it goes to full grip, obviously when it comes to music, I need I, you, know, you need money. Yeah. So that's so it's like worst way in full grip. It sets the tone. It's like I'm desperate, you know, and, and it's like and I'm trying to figure it out as a young you know, as a young male or young black male, however you want to say it, it's trying to figure out life and trying to figure out everything and dealing with distractions. So that's basically what Sun Rises on the West is basically about is is trying to figure things out, trying to figure out who I am as a person and trying to figure out how can I get out of this maze? How can I, you know, deal with these distractions and keep and keep moving? Yeah. So that's basically what Sun Rises on the West means and what it stands for. And um, it also symbolize, you know, also my homies, what we talked about, what we deal with. And um, that's where you get um, young G's. That's where you get angry. So I was trying to, I try to like, I try to like not make it too slow, and but also try to make it. You know, I was, I wasn't trying to be everywhere with it, but I was trying to make everything make sense. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I'm hoping I'm explaining that well. Yeah, no, you yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's basically what the album really is about. Just me trying to figure everything out. And the sun rises on the west. So it's like I'm. It's like a new person is coming up. Yeah. So it's like you know a new guy. Yeah, I love the double meaning behind that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even like, honestly. I didn't oh, even yeah. think. Oh, of I that know. I knew it. I was like, yeah. oh, this is a great title for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like anything has a little bit more layers to it than just like. Yeah. If you title. look at the art cover, if you look at the art cover, it's a puzzle. If oh you, yeah, that's right. It's it's, it's really yeah. a puzzle of my picture. And it's like I'm trying to figure out who I am hey, as man. a person. Speaking yeah. of which, you have amazing cover art for your Thank singles you. and you. your albums. Seriously, I, I, like, I did it myself. I appreciate. Oh it. really? Yeah, 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 oh yeah. man, it's because like I love like for example the, on the singles like just the the cover art of like just the photos. Whoever yeah. took them, amazing photographer. I appreciate, appreciate that. Um, and just like it captures just like a raw kind of honest, genuine look. Like you have this, just yeah. like both like it, I'm. I think about the, the 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 cover art with like you and Dutch Casey. Angry, yeah. Yeah, for angry and just like the way you just we both are looking at the cameras. It's yeah. just like it I, just... I love that song, man. Oh that, man. That's my yeah. favorite song on the album. I seriously. Appreciate it. My cousin Mila um sang uh sang on that track. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. She's actually a singer too, man. She's dope. Dope. Oh, that's dope! Yeah, you know, including yeah. the family and the, and the yeah, music. That's good. dope. Yeah. That's good. I gotta say, so that's for that song is one of my favorites. I, the way it opens with Dutch, I think he's so passionate when he gets on that record. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, like it's like he's saying it's it's so it feels so honest because he see he seems like he's like he's spilling it on the record. Because with that track, it, it's too perspective. Is Dutch Cash is is talking about what he's going through, his struggle. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about is my insecurities, and when I'm going through what. How like when I say you know light complexion when she was dark, that when I was a kid I really like like my whole family is you know brown skin and dark skin yeah. and I'm you know my mom she was you know Creole she was white and black so I got my complexion from her and dealing with are oh, you light skin you sensitive oh mm -hmm. you you know I said dealing with that type of um, you know insecurities it was like as a kid I was like damn I wish I was dark skin because I'll be in a different light yeah yeah so and that's basically what I was you know. That's basically what I was preaching angry, you know, and, 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 and that's, and we both got together with that, not knowing how it was going to sound. It, it's crazy. How did I you guys work off of each other's like lyrics and, and what did, like, how did you guys uh, orchestrate that song to be like, 
you're gonna cover this part. I'm gonna talk about this. Um, we didn't honestly. It just came out. It just came out naturally. Oh bro. yeah. Okay. It didn't. We didn't have like Mila did the hook, and um, we me and him was like doing rock paper scissors. Who's gonna go first? And then he um, Dutch went first, and he set the tone. And then once once the hook, she set the tone from that, and then he set the tone. I was like, and then boom, I came in, and um, and. Oh, what was your question again? I'm sorry, I lost track. Yeah, how did you guys sort of work together to sort of craft this song? Because it feels like it's it's it it, it feels yeah. like it was produced very well. Like yeah. you guys had some sort of like a a theme or intent in mind. Like you could come in and talk about this. And I'm gonna cover this because it feels like it, it's very um, cohesive. It was basically about what we was going through, what we was thinking about. Yeah. At the time, is it, like me and Dutch Casey have so many deep conversations about our past. Because yeah. like I said, he's from New Jersey, I'm from LA, and. We was just talking about our past and what we went through as you know mm. as kids, you know. So when he said, you know, you know, you know, his mom telling me cook clean the kitchen, and his dad told him get out the couch and you know do something with your life, and and I'm talking about my securities. I'm talking about you know, um, um, my friends are getting killed. You know, he's getting you know, and I'm dealing with those type of things. And so it's like our discussion really that was really a discuss that track was really us talking yeah. to each other about our what we went through. You know, and 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 Mila just made it. Is basically telling us keep going. Yeah. Every you know, it's, it's a beauty in the struggle. Keep yeah. going, keep going. You know, that's why. It's, that's basically what the track is really is. Just uh, us talking to each other. Did the did the beat selection make you like bring that out more? Cause yeah. That, that's I, yeah. 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 I, I, honestly, that was Dutch's man that made the beat. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I forget. I I I, I have bad memory. No, that's all right. We, we <laughs> yeah yeah. I have bad. Do you remember that's that? School? We can put their name in the description later if <laughs> yeah. you want to shout them out. But yeah, like, shout just out. shout outs to you guys because that's an amazing fucking album. So the yeah. whole team who yeah. put like work into it, yeah. amazing I fucking album. So shout out to Dutch it. Casey. Shout out to people who produced it. Yeah. Um, shout out all you guys. We'll put you in the descriptions later. Yeah um, yeah If yeah. you feel so inclined, um, because they definitely deserve the recognition. Man, yeah, they amazing. It was dope, man. It was dope. That that beat also like. It's one of these things that I'll listen to the song, right? Because yeah. it was actually fa- oh, it was actually faster. That beat was actually like oh really, and um, Marco actually slowed the tempo down and made it more like a vinyl, uh, a mm. vinyl record. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. you, if you hear it, it yeah. sounds more like old school. Yeah, kind of. it does. So yeah, he actually slowed it down and everything, and to fix, and to for it to like complement my flow. Hey, cause oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's dope. Was, that's yeah, yeah. Smart. That's basically like that's that's basically what he did. It was really dope. Yeah. Well, I left. I'm left with like a haunting. Like after I listen to the song, yeah. that beat still is playing in my head. And yeah. like, like what you guys are talking about, like the theme, the core, yeah. what you guys are talking about, like that feeling still sticks with me as that beat is playing in my head after I've listened to the song. Yeah. So it's just like it's one of those songs where it's like it just it just sticks with you after you even listen to it. That's you know? dope. Amazing. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's that's one actually like a lot of my homies' favorite track. Like Angry. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it, I could see why. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. It's a definitely a good song. Um, yeah. And um for the girls you special. A lot of girls like you special and trying to find my way. A lot of mm, girls like yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, Angry that was that's one of the tracks where like that was a stamp. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I, a lot of people relate to that track. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. a lot of people relate to that. And now, yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying no, no, no. We were just we were just having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just cut real quick. We were just gonna jump back into it. We we're just having a conversation yeah. about like uh like your writing process and what that's been yeah. like. And you just right jump into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, my writing part. I have to be inspired. For me to write anything, for me to do any lyrics, for me to rap, I have to be inspired. I have to go through like life situations or life anything for me to write down. If I'm not inspired, I'm not gonna write. And, and that's just how I am. Maybe that's why it takes a long time for me to do records. Do you like, do you look for beats first or like, and actually write, write over the first. beats or? Oh, I actually okay. write lyrics first. And yeah. then, and then when I hear a beat and then whatever bars I have, I will, and then I match the vibe and then I'll go from there. And then that's when I start the writing structure and then I'll take words out. I'll take okay. this out. Oh, no, I don't like this. Oh, I should say it like this here. You know, and that's when I, you know, but also depends. It depends. Like if I'm in the studio right there and there, and a producer say, "Yo, get on this beat," and then I'm gonna write there, and you know, I'm gonna and, write there. It it, yeah. But on my writing process, like how I work, I I I I, I go from lyrics first because I'm very like I'm I like I love lyrics. I listen to music so for what they have to say. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's and I, and I'm hoping people will get that from me too. But I think when it comes to my writing, you got to decode it a little bit. Yeah. You got to know like because I I say things. I say a lot of metaphors. Mm-hmm. Like, um, have you heard the track White Vans? Yeah. Yeah. 
um, when I say, you know, life, video for that out too. So yeah, check, yeah, that yeah, out yeah, as well. check out that video. As an example, like when I say life consisted payments, solid toll, but still a nigga not paying, you know, and I, you know, before that I said, I've been raging. It's basically saying like, I'm frustrated with what's going on and I got to deal with these uh, consequences. Knowing it's bad for me, life consisted payments, like, you know, like dealing with bills, dealing with girls, dealing with consequences, all type yeah. of stuff. I saw that toll and I'm still not paying. So like I'm hitting these walls knowing it's bad for me mm. and I'm going to still hit this wall. But it, it, it's like, it's, that's, like, that's basically what that bars is from. So, but if you don't decode it, you're just going, you, you're not knowing what I'm yeah. saying. You're not knowing what I'm saying. But that's basically what I was saying in that certain song. So a lot of my songs is kind of like, you got to decode it. You got to really digest what I'm saying, you know. What, what inspired you to pick up a pen? Um, oh, that's a good question. You know, when I was a kid, um, I was very shy. And I always wanted to be heard because I was quiet. I was shy. Um, I felt like a lot of people got way more attention than, than I. So I was like, this is the way I could be heard. This is where I, where I could speak my opinion. I could speak, you know, what, I, what I've seen and what I've been through. So that's basically what it was, man. I feel like it, it's, I, I wouldn't say attention seeker, but you could say that. Like, I, I, this is my attention. This is yeah. how I could get attention, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I'm not saying, like, I was a loser or anything like that, but, like, growing up, like I said, I wasn't getting that much attention. Yeah. So it was like, if I could, and then, you know what my, fa oh, you know what made me want to rap? It's a good, I ain't never told nobody this either. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive right yeah. now. <laughs> what made me want to rap was All About the Benjamins, Puff Daddy. And, okay. And, and, shh, from, um, um, J Jada Kiss, the locks. Um, Sheik. Sheik Luch. Sheik Luch. I'm trying to cop those. Tell me some of the thought those. That cadence right uh, there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yo. I, like, <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> I wanna, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> I, that right there was like, boom. I want to rap. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that was like, that verse right there. Even Lil Kim, you know, like, those two verses made me want to rap. Yeah. And that's what I was like, all right, I want to do this. When I was a kid. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, and to this day, I, I still love that song. And then, of course, Snoop Dogg. Like, that's, if, that's number one. I wanted yeah. to be just like Snoop when I was a yeah. kid, too. So, like, you know, um, the whole smooth, laid back, yeah. player, flow. And I feel like he's the god of that, you know? Yeah, I wanted to be just like that. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. So, that kind of, those inspired me to pick up the pen, you know? And then, close, and, and especially my homies, too. My friends really pushed me to go to the studio. Cause like I said, I was getting in trouble in LA, to be honest. Mm. And me moving out here helped me breathe and really focus. Cause like I said, when I was in LA, I was distracted by a lot yeah. of things. When gang, gang stuff, girls, m you know, money, illegal things, that really distracted me to focus on music. So like when I came out here, it humbled me and slowed me down. Yeah. And and yeah, um, that's and, good. And helped me focus on that's music. Good. You know, like I said, shout out to Lynn. I, I appreciate everybody that I, I mess with, everybody I fuck with. Can I do some shout outs real quick? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Go for yeah, it. Like Cleo, you know, my homie Trace. Um, shout out to Mike L. You know, uh, shout out to Twins. Tw the Twins, I don't know if you met them yet. They're so freaking dope. And I feel like they, I, I feel like Twins and the, well, I call them Twin. Um, twin and, and Cleo are so underrated in Lynn. Like, they're rapping. They, they shape me how to rap. Cool. To be honest, my rhyming scheme now from Sunrise on the West to like, if you listen to like White Vans, totally different. Around, or even Gunner Tree. Gunner Tree is really like a whole different rhyming scheme than I, than I did with Sunrise on the West. Like those two different, I, I learned how to take words out yeah. and, and, and make sure to be like, I'm still in and out of pocket, yeah. but I'm more in pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so you're paraphrasing a little bit more of what you're saying. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, right yeah. Cool. So yeah, so yeah, I appreciate them for real. Like, what what's that been like? Like like going and living your whole life on the West Coast and then flipping that coming to the East Coast. Yeah, like, you know, like I, I would think like because like L A. Obviously opportunities it's for more like artists. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, more. There's way more there. opportunities. But um, when 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 you grow up, like I, I'll say this, man. I was a child that moved a lot. I, I honestly like if you're here trying to find my way, I shout out different area codes where I grew up. Mm -hmm. Six six one eight one eight three two three. Six six one is a city called Palmdale, and um, 
You ever heard of, you know, Paul George, the basketball yeah. player? That's where he's from, actually. I actually went to high school out there. You know, I went to school out there for yeah. a cool. And um, I like, I, if I could move any, actually, I'm not going to say that. I love Palmdale, though. It, 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 it grew me as well. Um, but me moving a lot. I'm sorry, what was your question? Uh, it's just about moving. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Me ma- moving. Mainly from West Coast to East Coast, but also in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I moved a lot as a kid. You know, I, like, I from, like I said, from L.A. to the Valley. The Valley's like 30 minutes from L.A. to Palmdale, back to L.A. I was in Compton. I was in Inglewood. I was in, of course, South Central. I was, I, was, I was literally everywhere. So me moving, it didn't bother me. Mm-hmm. But what bothered me, it, from a, I'm, I'm literally 3,000 miles away. So I'm in a whole different type of culture. Because L.A. Yeah. County is big, and we have the same culture. You know, actually, Calif- besides Northern California, but Southern California is this kind of is gang culture, the same type of culture, same lingo, same slang. So out here, moving out here was a, just a whole 180, 360 turn. And I was depressed at first because I, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what was going on. I don't know how I was going to do this because I was in New York for a while, too. And then I came down here because my pops live out here, and, you know, and me being out here was like, I, it's just not knowing nobody. I know I don't know where my life was going head. Like I, I honestly didn't know, and I was frustrated at first. And I went back to LA. And oh, I was man. like, I can't do this. Like I'm like, I, I I moved out here in March. I was like, I can't find a job. I'm trying to be, you know, the, do the right way, do yeah. the right thing. I was like, man, I can't do this. I'm, I went back, and then um, things happened. You know, things happened while I was out there. I was like, okay, let me go back out. Here. You know, come back out here, and um, and that's when everything clicked. Everything clicked. Boom, met Twin. Boom, met, um, oh, shout out to Supreme. He was one of the first dudes I met. He showed me around. Shout out to Supreme. He was re- he's a real dude. He's like my OG. And, you know, from Supreme, Twin, to Cleo, to Trace, to every everybody was showing me around. And I just start, I start falling in love with the city and the culture. You guys, Lynn, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know Lynn is very cultural. Yeah. When it comes to art, y'all are like, yeah. it's really dope. Even when it comes to photography, what you guys are doing. Yeah. You know, artistically, like it's dope, and and it inspired me. Like y'all, y'all really, like I said, um, L.A. raised me, but I feel like you guys are grooming me to be being that's a man. Dope. You know, so yeah, and, and and as an artist as well. So it's that's yeah. good to see that from the outside looking. Yeah, yeah. like you know, it's always it's like, like when you're here and like you're in it, you don't see that yeah. part yeah, of it. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting yeah. from it's like an outside it, perspective. It's a breather, man, because y'all like, I feel like you guys are more hustlers. You guys are more like clicked. Like with the difference between out here and West Coast is, like I said, it's like you gotta look over your shoulder all the time. Mm. You know, because every every block is a different game. You know, you one mile is just it, it'd be Crips, and then the next and the next it'd be a different Crip. But that, those Crips is beefing with each mm. other, and then the next block is Bloods, and then the next block is Mexican gangs, and then you go thirty minutes away in Glendale, that's nothing but Armenians. So it's like. You gotta always look over your shoulder, and wow. if you're if you're known affiliated, if you're affiliated, and so you really gotta look over your shoulder, you know. So it's like, it's like a constant like, a constant battle looking over your shoulders, and it's like it get depressing, you know. Yeah. It get stressed. Yeah, you know? It sounds like paranoia. Up yeah, paranoia. yeah, like PTSD. I like, have PTSD. Yeah, yeah. I I really, you know, um, not I'm not saying I'm the toughest guy in the world, you know. I I. I I became a victim to certain things. I'm not calling myself a victim, but I became a victim to certain things. Mm-hmm. You know, I got popped in the back of the head. You know, I got beat up by the cops. So once those things happen, and you deal with death as well, your friends is dying, you know, once you deal with that, it's like, it, you, it created PTSD. It yeah. created, you know, it, it creates that. It, it creates paranoia. I still have it to this day, you know. If when people, like, come to me, like, I'm I, I, like, shit, you know what I'm saying? If for somebody, like, um... If I hear certain voices, it triggers something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like it, it's it's sick. It, it's sick, and I feel like a lot of people that deal with gangs and deal with that type of lifestyle have PTSD. And if and I want to say this too, speak seek help. There, yeah. I I feel like um, I feel like a lot of a lot of men don't want to like go to therapy. I'm like I never went to therapy, but I'm I'm open to it. Yeah, I feel like y'all should go. You know, you when when I, I who I heard this from when you go to the when you go to the, go to the gym. You work on your body, right? I, I don't know who I heard this from, but yeah, but why why not work on your yeah. mental? Yeah, so right, there's a muscle too. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. muscle too. So work on your mind as yeah. well. If you need therapy, go to therapy, bro. Yeah. Hey, we're not going to shy you from that. I'm not going to look down on you. Yeah, I, yeah so 
Yeah, baby, that's basically the difference between out here in LA. It's just that's just it, just the politics, you know, gang mentality. And out here, you guys really don't. Yeah, got you guys do be up. It's not deep like that. No, nah, it's not like LA. For yeah, sure, it's yeah. not like LA yeah. like that. So yeah, that's just the difference. And um, I try not to with my music. I try not to say too much about gang mentality. I try not to promote it, kind of. You know, you won't hear certain things. Yeah. I might see, you might hear some lingo, but I try not to, because I feel like I don't want to. I don't want that stigma on me. Yeah, I, that's what I appreciate about your music. Like yeah. you see, like and also about just yeah. you in general, man. Yeah, you yeah, seem yeah. like a very wise dude. I'll say that. I appreciate that. Um, but like the music, it sounds so authentic and real. Because it's like it seems like, I and mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like that's like your outlet when you're talking about all these things you're experiencing the PTSD and like yeah. just like kind of like getting those things out of you and yeah. into something else. Like Young G's, that was yeah. like the last track. Like that right there was, like that's my favorite track because it's really like, it's 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 really sh- telling you. I'm telling you, I'm depressed. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you know these these cops is you know is whooping our asses, is kicking. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's paying guns to our face. I had guns to my face. I got pepper sprayed. I got beat up. Like you know, it's like, and and. Uh, and and a lot of people are dealing with that. Not just black, but I'm saying a lot of, you know, a lot of people are dealing with police brutality. So I, I kind of want to put that out there too, you know, and and um and, and tell people to keep going, you know, like try to find your way. That's basically, what, that's basically, yeah. yeah, you know, figure figure this shit out, man. Cause life is a game. Life is a fucking maze, man. And I'm still trying to figure. It out. I'm still trying to get out of this. I'm still trying to decode the fucking matrix. I'm yeah, yeah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm We're sure all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all, yeah, we're yeah, for you. all trying yeah, to figure yeah. shit out. Yeah. So, so sorry just, for being deep, y'all. Nah, man. No, we, we appreciate we, it. Yeah, yeah. We want that. <laughs> we it's, want it's, that this shit. is exactly what this is for. Like, we want to be able to get into this an outlet for us to discuss big ideas. You know, so. Yeah. And yeah. in terms of your your uh their video output, are you are you working so you're still on this current album, yeah. right? Are you working on so you just released um White Vans, right? The video re- for that. Uh yes, I released White Vans. Um I'm working on visuals. I'm gonna um work on Gunner Tree. Shout mm-hmm. out to Nikki Clips. Um I feel like I feel like Gunner Tree is showing my involvement. Yeah, it's more of an East Coast record, but I feel like that's showing my involvement. And then um uh, like a white vans and gunner tree is definitely. I don't know about gunner tree yet, but white vans definitely gonna be on the second album. I'm telling y'all that, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do more visuals, definitely do more, do more, um, more for the second project. I'm gonna do more. Are yeah. you working on the second project? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I got the title. All right, all right, I'll, all I'll right. tell y'all right now, yeah, I'll, um, you know, uh, you know how 40 acres in a mule, yeah, right? Wow. I'm a, I'm a kind of I'm gonna call it forty ounce in a pit bull. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, and I'm gonna have like six, seven tracks. Like I said, White Van's gonna be in it, and and I'm I'm gonna just basically take a script out of my life, and 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 tell you guys that type of story, and that story, a script of my life, and tell you that story. You know, and I feel like a lot of people, it's okay with. A forty ounce in a pet bull yeah. instead of your forty acres in a mule, and everybody deserve it. Yeah, you know everybody deserve land and money. Yeah, but some people are okay with being down here. So I'm gonna talk about that. Yeah, oh, man. are you? Is it? I'm is excited. It done? When's it? Nah, it when can we expect? Yeah, I want to say December. Oh um, really? Summer, I want to yeah, say okay. December. That's, that's around that's the quick. corner. That's we can consider that to be around away. the corner. I want to yeah. say December. I want to say okay. Yeah. So cool. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Forty ounce in a pit bull, maybe come in two months. You'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, we'll definitely post it when it when it comes out. So I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. So I I gotta imagine it's it's yeah. gotta be tough for the connection that you made out in L A. and now moving here to Lynn. Like yeah. for example, like Dutch Casey and a few of the people that you that you fuck with over in L A. Shout out to Magdolo. That's my cousin too. I gotta say he's fire. How, oh he, he's yeah, fire. Word. shout out he's to Magdolo. Yeah. How yeah. how has it been like? I mean, I guess nowadays it's not so like you know you can send music over you know the internet and just like back and forth. You, oh, you know that's a good question. You know, because I hate that. Yeah. I hate um, sending open verses all through the email because what I like to do with when it comes to features, I like to connect with um, with the artist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to actually sit down, let's hang out, let's, yeah. you know, let's yeah. eat, and then let's record. Let's because it'll be a more of a, um, a natural vibe. It's organic. If you yeah, it's yeah, organic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, to like paying for a feature and like. Sending it out, yeah, like, yeah. Just, something's yeah. missing there. I feel yeah. like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's that been? Like, I feel like that's. Are you going through that now? Now that you've moved to Lynn, 
Um. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, because I it. um I don't know if you guys heard that song uh, creeping yet. It's a McDonald's song, and I'm on it. And they had to email me the you know the um, track tracks and everything, mm-hmm. and then I had to record it and send it back. I hate that process. Yeah, but um yeah, it, it's kind of I don't like it. I I rather I rather be in the studio with the artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah I rather be hands on. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Do you, do you plan at all on? Are you staying here for the foreseeable future? What's the plan like in terms of uh, where you're gonna take this? I honestly, don't know, man. Yeah. Like I said I was a kid that moved a lot. Yeah. So I honestly, don't know. I was moving back to LA. I did that already. Yeah. You know. Now I'll visit. Of course, I'm gonna visit. Yeah. You know, I love LA. I, I, you know, I miss my family, my peers, my homies. But moving there, I mean, I need to hit. I need some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah. Moving there, I'm gonna need some money yeah. to move there. It'll yeah. be for business when you yeah. move back, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. the labels are hitting you up over there. Be yeah, like, oh, yeah, we need yeah, you yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, it's a good story. I can tell you a good story too. When I was trying to figure out this music thing, um, you know Teddy Riley, right? Yeah. All right. Um, you know, um, you know their group guy. I think I told you this story, but I don't. I'm not too sure. I. Th- I think I remember this. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, if you know the singer, uh, this group called Guy, back in the 80s, this, the, la- the main um, singer, Aaron Hall, and um, he was in New Jack City. Mm-hmm. Have you watched New Jack City? Yep. Um, remember when Nino Brown was first going to the club and Ice-T first saw each other? He was the one on stage performing. Gotcha, The yeah. New Jack Swing. That was his era. Um, I ran into him in L.A., man, and we just connected. You know, even I even know his son. We connected. And um, Aaron Hall was just basically saying, you know, what are you trying to do, this and this and that. And he's another one to actually, like, like take music serious because he believed in me and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, I don't know where I was going with this, but it, was just, it just popped in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm guessing it was inspirational. You know? Yeah, it was just another inspiration. I just thought yeah. about that. But, um, yeah, yeah. So That's sick. Yeah, but I would never, I wouldn't, back, I wouldn't move back to LA. Not right now. Yeah. I, would, I would love to move to New York, though. Yeah. I like New York. Well, yeah, you have a great opportunity to make your mark out here, you know, in, yeah. in the Lynn and Boston area, and also New York is not that far yeah. away. So, yeah. like, you know, between the two, and then you got, you it's know, perfect. Yeah. next on the West Coast, it seems like you're spreading like a yeah. virus around it. Man, I just checked my um, monthly listeners uh, for October, and it says 1,800. I was like, yeah, it's probably us. Nice. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did research for the pod, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. I was like, Damn, okay, all right. <laughs> Somebody's fucking with the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's dope, man, it's dope. Oh. Ever put like uh, uh, alternator fluid? Yeah, yeah. So my shit should be heating up. When oh, I'm doing shit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, you know, everything I try to say is like Dude, I've had to experience that way too much last Same. year. Like, I thank <laughs> yeah. God now I like ended insane. up financing a car because I got tired of driving hoopties around. Yeah. But like I had a, like a 2000 Subaru Outback that I was whipping. And at the, it would pick the worst times to start heating up. Like, I'd have Bro. a girl in the car. Like, we're going <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. smoke starts coming out of the hood. Yeah. Shit looks like it's about to explode. But like, that happened yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Shit, that is, it's, it's embarrassing. It, it's always those moments when you're trying to impress a girl. Like, I, I think one day I, I was driving this girl that I worked with. And, you know, I had a crush on her or whatever. Yeah. But I didn't. my AC wasn't working. Yeah. And I was like. It's hot summer fucking day, middle of summer. That's I was right. like, God damn it, she's like making fun of me about the AC. I'm like, this is the fucking Yo, worst. That's how it is in freaking Palmdale. Palmdale yeah. is like a. Is, have you been to Vegas? Uh, no, he oh. has a. Uh, when yeah. you went to Vegas, in the summer or winter? Uh, both. I've been there it like was, five times. It was hot as fuck, right? You went in summer? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, gets, it gets to like 115. Yeah. Palmdale is like a little Vegas. When it comes to like desert weather, it gets hot as fuck out there. Mm, and yeah. if you have no AC, oh, you. Why you oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta have like a cloth on. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. you get. High. And if you have leather like, seats, oh. Oh man, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I had, can't I had be a fun. leather seats. Oh, just like sticking to it. Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> you're driving like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's sick. It's sick. So we want to get into a few tracks on the album that just yeah. like caught uh, our interest in terms of uh, just going into it a little deeper. Yeah. Speaking of going deeper into it, we should talk about the album, the song Deep. So, all right. So, talk to us about what the process is like for creating that song, and 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 what the what your, where your mind was at when you when you wrote it. I feel like I was being betrayed, man. Like I feel like I was trying to help a lot of people. I, I, I honestly, I was trying to help a lot of people the best I can when it comes to money, when it comes to a safe haven, coming to you know my 
the house, you know, me and my best friend wasn't talking. I was shopping. Me and my cousins was talking. Me and my ex wasn't talking. It was just like so much drama. And that right there was just, it just led me to, to vent about that. Now, it was, like I said, it was a diss to a lot of people. Y'all know who we are. And I clearly still don't give a fuck. Let's be honest. No love yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, that was, let's see, um, that's actually Mac Dolo, uh favorite track, too. That's his favorite track, Deep. He told me to do a video to it and everything, but I was like, nah, I ain't going to do all that. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, that's just frustration, bro. Like, just dealing with, dealing with just social drama, man, and, like, and when you try to help people out and it backfires on you, yeah. you know, it's like, bro, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You get frustrated off that. That like, hurts. Yeah. yeah, like, bro, I really was trying to help you out. Yeah. Like, I really was trying to, like, you know, put you in positions for you to win. Now, and, now I'm I'm not goddamn Puff Daddy. I'm not none of that. But, like, I try to put them in possessions to set, them, to set certain people up for them to be inspired to succeed, you know? And, and I feel like I wasn't appreciative. And even my ex, like... You know, I tried my best where, and I felt like I wasn't even appreciated. You know, I did a lot. I did 100%. Even family members. I did a lot of family. And um, and I had to let people know, like, don't get it twisted. This is, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? I, when I say, you know, um, that's real shit. Like, cousin called her pops on me, and she forget. Like, I grew up with Crips. I don't give a fuck about none of that. And her father don't mean nothing to me. And, and that's where I was at. I was really beefing with family and it's like it's sad and it's sick because i feel like they chose sides and i and like i said the song two sides of the valley that's like i feel like that's like letting you know i don't believe in sides it, it, either you with me or not mm. and and it's no middle i feel like middleman it's you, you can never play the peacemaker even if you want to you never can either you ignore it the drama or you pick a side. It's it, everybody know that. You watch three hundred. The messenger comes in telling like the kings, hey, this and this and this, and and uh, Leonidas kicked the shit out of him. The messenger and peacemaker always get dealt with, and yeah. It's, yeah. it's sad to say, but it is what it is. So when, when it comes to deep, it was more like either you fuck with me or not, and if not, fuck you. Do you think like those situations? Do you think they like? It's like putting fuel in the fire for like you trying to make it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's now it's like, uh, now it's like it's a middle finger. Like you guys, pray, but I hope I don't make it because yeah. I'm talking my shit if yeah. I do. It's yeah. like I'm, it's like, and it's like, well, what it says? Success is like your best, Re- best I, I, revenge. I got this best girl on, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Success yeah. is like your best revenge. Yeah. That's really like yeah. my revenge because yeah. because yeah. I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill. Mom. I ain't gonna kill nobody. I'm not gonna um, try to hurt anybody's pockets. But me being happy, me being financially stable, yeah. and that's following your vision through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like people are gonna feel salty about oh, that because yeah. they gonna be like, "Oh, you was here, but now you're here," and it's like you could really yeah. say, "Fuck you." I, I kind of like when people yeah. doubt, like yeah, they'll beautiful. doubt at me. It's you know, beautiful. I kind of like yeah. that. Just to, it's yeah. a fuel. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. okay, all right. Yeah. Just to go with the uh, the success is the best revenge mantra. The the other one that I really like is like like. First they laugh at you, yeah. Like then they doubt you, yeah. Um, then they want to like fucking join you, right? Like yeah. Watch. Like I'm telling you guys, watch now. Like we gonna stay in contact. I'm gonna follow you guys. We gonna stay in contact. Oh for I'm sure, absolutely. Right now, yeah. yeah, watch, watch how things. I'm telling you right now. Cause, oh, I'll tell you something else too. You know, um, last year I almost died. Like I guess I got struck in the head real hard with a crowbar. Um, I still have it right here. You know. Um, they said the doctor said one like one more inch, I, I could have died because the, the crowbar impelled me. I got jumped, Damn. you know, gang stuff, drama. I got impelled with a crowbar, and um, that right there, I was on the. I remember before I lost consciousness, I was bleeding out. I was like, damn, because statistically, they said you know young black males don't live past twenty five. So, I'm, you know, I'm 25. So, right when I was in that concrete and bleeding out, I was like, damn, this is how I'm going to go? Like, this is crazy. Like, this is, I'm going to get struck in the head like this, bleed out and die. In yeah. my mind, I was like, damn. And this was before I dropped the album, before I was, I was trying to be straight. And I was like, this is, I was like, damn, before I even got to get a chance to be straight and, and, and try to follow my vision, boom. 
And then when I didn't die and I woke up in the hospital, I was like, all right, I'm still here. And I brought fuel to the fire. It's like, I'm still, I have a reason to be here. It's yeah. something, and then even being out here and meeting people, even meeting you and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, meeting you now, it's like, it, it, I believe in, it, it's a reason for all this. Yeah. So yeah, so that, all that, the doubters and all the things I've been through, it, it just brought more fuel to the fire. And that's like, now I got to prove a fucking point. You know, it's like, all right, I got to, and that's what it's time to do. And it's like, so like, in the future, it's like, I got to prove a point. And that's where I'm at right now. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. I'm glad we're here to support, man. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Love the drive and the ambition. I appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it, man. For real. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, so, you know, I, do we still got more time? Yeah, oh, yeah. We, 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 time. Yeah, we got, we got like another 10. Yeah, yeah, we can talk. Else? Yeah, I, else? yeah, definitely for sure. But before we, uh, before I ask my next question, did you have any shout outs that you wanted that you remember to give to anybody else? Um, shout out to the gang, you know, shout out to, uh, <laughs> shout out to Mac Dolo. Keep doing your thing. Shout out to my homie Dutch Casey. Shout out to Doc Holiday. Shout out to um, uh, uh, Trey Day. Trey Day Stad. He's, yo, he's crazy. He dropped like five projects in one month. Damn. Yeah, Damn. like, like his, his, and his, his sound. This knocks him out. Boy. Yeah, yeah, his sound is different too. You really got to dive in to understand his sound. So it's like, it's like you got to really put your headphones in like, to really like listen to what he's saying. Trey Day is he's inspiration too. He actually helped me out a lot too. Cause I was gonna quit and he called me and was like, bro, come to the studio, this and this and that. So he was one of the dudes I always gonna look out. If I if anything happened to me, I'm always put him right where I'm at. Uh Baller Rob, he's dope. He dropped the album. Baller Rob is too, he's from LA. He's he's dope too. Um Then all my East Coast homies, Lynn, shout out to Lynn, shout out to Cleo, you know, Cleo Jacobs, shout out to Trace, you know, he's dope. Um, shout out to Al Divino. Do y'all heard that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Al Divino is crazy. Uh, yeah, we, we actually, we interviewed uh, ST Knack, who like, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. ST Knack yeah. is dope. He's on yeah. West Side's Gun album. Yes, yeah. he is, yeah. yes, he is. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, shout out to Al Divino, man. And shout Bananas, out to the homie Supreme. Yeah. Uh, Mike L., I, you know, Michael, he's showing me the ropes too. Dope. He's a dope engineer. And um, yeah, man, these dudes these I'm messing with, man. So, Word. You know, um, I feel like I, if I miss you, I'm sorry. You know, y'all y'all know I got bad memory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you shouted out enough people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good credit list. Um, I, I want to circle back around because um, we talked about this briefly, but I kind of wanted just to delve a little bit deeper into it. Mm. Sort of like because you do have such a uh, unique way of rapping. How yeah. did that get developed? Like how, like, how did you develop that type of like unique like cadence and flow when you come when it comes to rap? Um, really, if you really listen to my music and all my lyrics, it's really poetry. Yeah, and and it's kind of hard to explain, man. It, it really just happened. It's really just it was just really happened because. Um, when I was first rapping, my timing was wrong. Mm -hmm. Like everybody was saying, like your timing is not right, and say it like this, and you gotta space out your bar, you know, space out your words, space out your bars. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to my um, my cadence, it just happened. Like I, it's it's no inspiration. Um, when it comes to writing, my inspiration is Erica Badu, or how she. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, and like the neo soul, Jill Scott, uh, Lauren Hill. Like when it comes to writing, I try to incorporate my writing kind of like that a lot of metaphors a lot of um um not conjunctions just a lot i guess you say metaphors a lot yeah. of metaphors you know a lot and straight to the point so yeah it, no artists or no i don't because i don't rap like nobody if you hear and no that's no disrespect if you hear west taylor you be like that's west taylor it's yeah. no like oh he sound like like this this you know, guy, yeah. Yeah, you know, he kind of sound like, you know how like, there's no disrespect to anybody. You know how there's Rowdy Rich? Yeah. And there's, it's that specific sound. It's like, oh, okay, he sound like he's a Rowdy Rich. Yeah. You know, like, I don't have, I feel like I don't have that. Like, yeah. Once you click on a West Taylor, like, that's West Taylor. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So it's like, my writing is very just authentic and it's very just natural. Like, I never had like, I never had like, oh, I want to rap like this person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's definitely hard to play. It's like, hmm. You know, some rappers, they just sound like a carbon copy of like yeah. another rapper. Yeah, you yeah. You can you know? clearly see where like, their inspiration you know? came yeah, from. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like I, of course, Kendrick Lamar is yeah. my inspiration. Like, I feel like none yeah. of the 
throw shots, but I'm gonna yeah. throw shots. Like I feel, I, I, and I fucked with him at first, and I'm just like, all right, you sound like Wick to me. Like Logic, I feel like sounds like a lot of Ooh. different people. Like he tries to sound like Kendrick on a record, and he tries Ooh. to sound like Logic. Oh yeah, yeah, Logic. He really he have, but that's cr- not creating his sound. That yeah. just he just became popular. Yeah, and he yeah. haven't developed he's, his own sound. He's, he's, exactly. Yeah. He's yeah. he's got a large following, and he's obviously very successful. But yeah. I definitely, yeah. whenever I hear him. I hear so many other people that like Same, sometimes yeah. that's maybe that's good because yeah. if, if you like that person you'll like him like that kind of like yeah. marketing yeah. but like I also me personally I like to listen to somebody who sounds like this person like I'm in the yeah. mood to listen to Wes Taylor right now I'm in the mood to listen to Kendrick right now I'm in the mood yeah. to listen to E-40 whatever yeah. like I'm, yeah. like I like people that have their own style that you re- really can't replicate that's true cause I, 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 that is true because if I want to hear Snoop Dogg I want to hear Snoop Dogg yeah. I don't want to hear somebody that, that's going to remind me of Snoop Dogg because yeah. I got Snoop if I want to hear Method Man. I mean, I want to hear Method Man. I don't want to hear somebody that sound like Method Man, you yeah. know, because I already got Method yeah. Man. I want to yeah. hear something different, you know, like, and that would that instantly would turn me off if I feel like you try to sound like somebody else or you have a vibe with somebody else. I don't want to hear you because yeah. I already got I already got this person already. Yeah, like I don't like, need I, a second copy of that. Yeah, what, what are you going to yeah. tell me different? Yeah. And it's sad to say, but it's like I already got this person. Yeah. Like, why I need to hear you now? If I'm liking what you're saying. And then I'm like, okay, maybe you're, you know, yeah. but if it's the same type of sound, like, ah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, next. So I want to actually go on to some, like, now that we, I feel like we've learned a lot about you. And yeah. again, thank you so much for coming here and being a part you. of the podcast. I appreciate you. Very happy to have you here. Um, we were talking before we even started rolling about, like, like the new Kanye West album. And yeah. I feel like we're all saying our, our, our piece about it. What do you think of the new album? Um... I listened to it one time and let it run through. I got to go back and to listen to it. I I think Kanye West is a genius. Um, When it comes to politics, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's his own thing. But when it comes to music, I think he's a genius. But Jesus is king. I got to listen to it again to give my opinion. Right now, I'm going to say it's whack. I'm going to say it's whack right now. It's it's, just... But who am I? You know... uh, Fuck all that. I, I think it's whack. But I gotta listen to it again. So right now, I'm gonna say it's whack. When I when I give I'll come back and, and give you my second third opinion. Cause I just wasn't I wasn't not because it's gospel, but I don't know it's, it's, it's I don't know we, it's kinda I get lost in what's his attentions. Yeah. Like what are what are your what are you intentionally you trying to say? What are you trying to do? Because you're everywhere right now. And he's a yeah. Gemini. Yeah. So Geminis are just everywhere. You know, um, for example, Tupac, he's everywhere. You know, yeah. Kanye West can sometimes be everywhere. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's trying to say. Really. I think you're right. I, I I think that's been Kanye's like uh, yeah. Achilles heel. I feel like he's like he's directionless. He's like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to say? Nobody can really pinpoint like where are you trying to take yeah. us. It's like just think, chaos. You have like, such granted yeah, those like, like delusions of where yeah. that where that place is and and, yeah. and and how to get to it. Yeah. And you just assume people are gonna just blindly follow you there, which I guess that's yeah. kind of. Uh, his fans' fault for making him believe that, you know, to yeah, a certain extent. Like, yeah. I, th- I know he's gotten a lot of blowback lately, which is good because I feel he deserves that. Uh, he, he does deserve that, but yeah. I don't know if he's listening to it. I thought the album was good. Mm-hmm. I just, like, like you're saying, like, but it, is it good, but also kind of fucked up because it, it, does he really believe what he's saying? Is he, is he yeah, saying these yeah. things? Does he really change? And that's great if he is. And this is the other side of the thing. Uh, Kanye is a, a money maker, also. Oh yeah, he's yeah. a money maker. He knows how to make. He sells shoes. Like he knows how to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, you appealing. Think he's selling Jesus? Uh, why not? Yo, these people, these priests, these, well, these yeah, pastors, I, they yeah. make a shit. They, t- yeah. they, they fly on Jesus. private jets. They're selling yeah. Jesus too. That's what I'm saying. So maybe he got put onto a new game where he's like, okay, this is like you. You've made money here, here, and here. Yeah. Here's one place you have made money, and here's a place that hip hop artists don't usually make a whole ton of money in that you can. That's all you for the taking. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, you and, know, and, what's the difference between a pastor and Kanye West? Yeah, exactly. They both they both selling God. Yeah, you know, sad to say, but and and that would sort of explain why he kind of fucks with the Trumps and the Republicans. Yeah, that's another avenue of money. Like, not Just only are you church going, yeah. but you want to make sure that those church goers are going to listen to you, so you got to appeal to them. A lot of those church girls happen to be conservative Republicans, so you can't ruin that relationship. Yeah. So I think it just. I got to sometimes kind of I ca- in, sometimes like, I have a little conspiracy theory and I'm not the only one that probably thinks of, yeah. of this when it comes to Kanye but some I feel like he is setting up that 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 getting that ready for that huge 
the gospel bag, you know, that that yeah. Christian bag. We'll you see. Know. Yeah, we'll see. Because I don't, like I said, I, I don't know yet. And it's too, it's too early for me to speak my opinion. I gotta, I gotta see what he's trying to say, what he's trying to do. I gotta go back to the album yeah. because yeah. I'm a big Kanye, Kanye West fan. You know, I, I love, I love every album. To be honest, I like Life of Pablo. Yeah. I like 808 Heartbreaks. You know, and so it's like with this album, I don't know what he's trying to do. So it's like I gotta go back and see what he has to say. Yeah, you know. And I say like my my top one of my top five favorite album is my beautiful twisted dark fantasy. Yeah. So, so yeah, like, that that album is. I love dope, Kanye. So. Yeah, I do too. Just yeah. you know, the man is it's a hard person to love. You know, yeah. you always have that person in your family that's just like yeah. takes that's a how little I, extra yeah, effort like, to exactly like exactly how I feel about Kanye. Yeah, it's like, like bro, God damn it, just about? he needs to shut up sometimes. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know how Kim Kardashian does it. Like, I was watching a clip She's of a her. Strong woman. Yeah, she is. She's I, a strong. Did woman. you see that clip of her, like Kanye being like, "I don't like the like the way you were dressing at this like the this award show." Yeah, that they went to. yeah. Like, you're dressing yeah. too sexy. It's like this dude just converted to like you know, or, or just got reborn yeah, like not yeah, so long ago. Yeah. And now he's telling his wife, who's not like may not be converted like you, you yeah. need to like hide yourself now that I'm like yeah. a new man. Yeah, yeah. it's like all right, man. Because before, on, be like before, I feel like he was like like all about her like. Oh, like I mean, that. you know, on. like he probably first saw her on that Ray J shit. tape, you know, yeah. and then, yeah. you know, yeah. And and I mean, Kanye's a weird dude. I've heard so many weird stories about him, like like having like porn on on the big screen as like he had he has guests over. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Hollywood. Hollywood is so freaky. If you go to Hollywood, it's just it's it's crazy because you have the inner gangs, inner cities in LA, thirty minutes away is Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. And Hollywood is just crazy. so yeah, it's just so weird. Yeah, it's so it's crazy. You'll see. I seen the craziest shit ever. I'm not. I'll, I'll speak it off camera, but it's just like yeah. you be like mind blown. Like what the fuck? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. hear some of those even, stories. Uh, <laughs> even, even celebrities, you be like what the? I fuck? gotta hear some of those yeah. stories. We'll save this for off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Um, I, I think we're coming to a close here. Yep. So, yeah. um, yeah, we're gonna close this out again. Thank you so much. I appreciate for you, guys. Um, man. I appreciate thank you so also, much. Yes. Let the folks know where they can hear oh, you. Yes. Your music, where they can find you. Um, you can Google me now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but um, Wes Taylor is W S T. I took the E off because I, I think W S T just looked better. It look, does look better. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks cool. And it's kind of like um, it's just kind of like a street name too. So I, I kind of like it. But um, follow me on um, Twitter ninety three infant west. Also, that's my Instagram ninety three infant west with an I. Um, on I'm on. I'm on Tidal, I'm on Spotify, I'm on Apple Music, I'm on YouTube Music, and um, just type, like I said, WST.Taylor, you'll find all my music, um, love you guys, I appreciate you guys, you know, check it out, Thank you. you know, my music, my music is different, you know, you vibe to it, yeah, and um, I feel like I give you guys a message, I give you guys different content for you guys to know about me and, and, and maybe could relate, you know. That's all I'm trying. I'm just trying to inspire everybody. Yeah. Word. Yeah, yeah. Word. Sunrise in the West. Check that check out. Check my album out. Sun, I'm sorry. Sunrise in the West. 40 Ounce and the Pitbull coming soon. Check yeah, that so out too when it comes soon. out. I'm sure you got a couple videos coming. Shout coming out Nikki soon. Clips shooting the videos. Yes. Yes. Shout out to Nikki Clips. You know, or check out White Dance. That's the, that's the, my new video. You know, please. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got merchandise coming. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bring nice. I'm gonna bring y'all some shirts. Cool. We're gonna bring yeah, you definitely. a hat. Yeah, definitely yeah. some shirts. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. yeah, we yeah. definitely. Right. Yeah, we'll 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 give you some stuff Hell as well. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah, that works. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh yeah. For you out Excited. there, guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to us and watching us. Shout out to West Telly for being here. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, support. Thank you guys Buy for supporting. Hat. Buy the hat. Grindhouse.com. Big Cartel. Link down in the descriptions. Yep. Uh, thank you much. Thank you so much. We're out. Peace. Cool. Peace.